is going to ask us how, excuse me, who should be involved in deciding the test strategy? Should developers be involved? Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Developers should be involved. Uh, I think the whole team should be involved. I think uh, stakeholders should be involved. Um, uh, so basically, everybody should be involved, but everybody has a different involvement. Uh, most of the times, test strategies start uh, with a tester who's doing risk analysis or, or starting to draw something uh, or, or, or put stuff on paper that that he wants to, uh, that, that he's thinking about, like, okay, what are the risks? What are the most important aspects to look at? And um, how am I going to uh, mitigate those risks? And how am I going to get the information that I want from this product? Mm -hmm. That's where it starts. And I like to uh, uh, use um, evolutionary uh, approach of creating a test strategy. So I'll start with drawing something out, stuff that I know, then I'll uh, uh, write down uh, I, I never really look at requirements at first. I just okay. talk to people like, okay, tell me about this product. What is important for you? I draw those things down. Uh, then I go talk to a product owner or information analyst or business analyst. Say, hey, uh, what is important in this product? It cannot only be functionality. Tell me something about security, performance, uh, usability, installability, maintainability. What do you think? So I start writing down stuff that's important. Uh, okay. Then I think about okay, so what kind of testing sh can I do on this? And again, I, I maybe not even have seen the product yet. I just have a vague idea, and then my head starts like okay, uh, and then I start drawing ideas uh, on how to test that. And with those ideas, I go to other people like the developers. Hey, tell me something about the architecture or the, the technical implementation uh how did you unit test this and how do you know it's working and and we talk a little bit about that and uh, uh step by step by step i built my idea of how the product uh, can work or will work or should work uh, what's important and how am i going to uh show or find information uh about those things so if if, uh, okay. if if somebody says, hey, this product should really be resilient. Okay, interesting. What do you mean by that? Mm. And how can we see that it's not in that state? And what do you mean? How can we show that it's really resilient? What do you, what, what may not happen? Or what, how can we prove that it, uh, so, and I never tell them that I'm talking about test strategy because as soon as I do that, yeah. people are like, <gasps> that's <laughs> something difficult or that's something testers do so yeah off, i've seen the same i just talk about the product and and i with developers i talk about how do you build this product can you show me your unit tests and they were like yeah sure and and, yeah. and what kind of error handling routines do you build and the people look at me like are you interested in that yeah <laughs> talk me through the code yeah. show me your modules or your units or whatever you call it and uh, and and so to answer the question who should be involved everybody because the developer has the technical uh, perspective of the product so the, the insights the architect can mostly tell us about uh, the outside world and interfaces and how he designed the product uh, he's he's often more into non-functionals uh, an information analyst can tell us why those business rules are the business rules and why they are important. The product owner can tell us uh, where he makes money, how he makes money, what's important, what, mm. what his biggest risks are. And other stakeholders can tell us what, uh, what they care about. And the fun part mm. of, of drafting test strategies sometimes is uh, that while talking about risks or talking about stuff that might happen if you don't want to talk about risks if you because because if you talk about risk people start to freeze like oh, risk analysis that's hard to do okay then <laughs> tell me what, what you don't want to read in the paper tomorrow morning and 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 if you help mm. them ask a couple of right questions 
like uh, uh, um, uh, an, an architectural over, overview. You don't want to go through architectural overviews with users, but you want to go over um, like uh, user interfaces. Like, okay, what makes using this product hard for you? Tell me what you do. So I think you should involve everybody, but probably uh, uh, if you don't have enough time to talk to everybody, uh, then I think uh, you're doing a lot of uh, other uh, stuff that, that, that you should ask yourself, is this really important? Because I meet a lot of people who don't talk to users because they don't have the time to do it. How can <laughs> you test the product if you don't know how the user uses it? Yeah, that's... Yeah. So how can you how can you create a risk list with all the risks also from a user perspective if you never talk to them? Because then you're guessing. Basically, you're guessing the risks. Mm. So I yeah. think you have to involve everybody. Uh, uh, and one tip, maybe that's an, a question, uh, an answer to a question uh, before this one: what not to do is invite all the people at the same time. I sometimes see risks workshops where they have 20 people. I think mm -hmm. that's fun. I think that could help, but mainly I like to draw models. So I use a lot of different models, requirements, architectural models, uh, screens, uh, flow charts, uh, whatever. Yeah. And go over these pictures with people and say, tell me what can, can go wrong here. And uh, okay, how do we just point at all these stuff? How do we know if it goes wrong? Where can I see that? And if it goes right, what 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 actually happens? So talking to all those pictures uh, helps me create a test strategy. I, I I definitely want a plus one talking about your test strategy and visualizing it and explaining it to somebody because that's super useful because they usually just pile in and kind of say, oh no, wait, you. That's no, it doesn't work like that. It does this, yeah. and then you may get some more ideas, or they may sometimes even say, "Oh, I didn't. Does it do that? I, I didn't know that. I didn't think about that." And then you get more ideas again.